Services took place today for 22-year-old Taylor Sipo, who collapsed six days ago near the finish of the Cleveland Marathon. Tomorrow, more than 1,000 runners will honor Taylor during another race in her hometown. Bob Jones live in Medina with more on how she will be remembered. Well, Dina, we are inside a Suma Medical Center where the expo is taking place for the Medina Half Marathon. Runners are showing up and picking up their shirts, their bibs, and these special ribbons, which will honor Taylor. Just like last weekend, temperatures will be warmer than normal, and extra doctors and paramedics will be stationed along the 13-mile course to look after the runners. More than a thousand runners in the Medina Half Marathon or 5K will pin these ribbons on their shirts Saturday morning. Green represents St. Vincent St. Mary, maroon Walsh University. Taylor Sipo graduated from both schools and was beloved at both. Just um, take a moment and remember Taylor last week and run, run in her honor and um, keep her close to our hearts. Race director Beth Bugner didn't know Taylor, but says what happened to her hit the running community hard. Taylor, an accomplished soccer player, was just a quarter mile from finishing the Cleveland Half Marathon last Sunday when she collapsed and died. Bugner felt the tribute was especially important since Taylor was from Medina. Enjoy the run. Enjoy it for Taylor. Offer your miles, miles up to Taylor. and. Um, just take it for what it is tomorrow and um, enjoy the journey as I think she would want us all to enjoy. Taylor's cause of death has not been determined and it's not known if hot weather at the Cleveland Marathon played a role. But with temperatures possibly going even higher for the Medina Half Marathon, doctors and paramedics will be watching runners closely. We can look for any kind of a heat injury from heat cramps to heat swelling, to passing out in the heat, or heat exhaustion. Dr. Bob Crawford, the medical race director from Suma Health, says runners need to pay attention to warning signs. If they're getting nauseated, if they're feeling dizzy or lightheaded, the only problem is some of those can be late signs. So when you see those, you absolutely want to take a step back, slow your pace down. And Crawford stressed, drinking water is especially important. Making sure that when you start the race, you're very well hydrated uh, and feeling good. So honestly, taking care of yourself the night before the race and even the morning of the race, that you're starting well hydrated. And there will also be a moment of silence for Taylor Sipo just before the race starts in Medina tomorrow. And that race starts at 645. Live in Medina, Bob Jones, News 5.